Hi, my name is Garrett, solo and lead developer working on Stronghold 3, a martial arts combat and exploration game. I talked about last week how I was looking at this Humble Bundle asset pack and I decided to go through and buy it. It was like 29 bucks, but it has a ton of great assets, although I won't end up using probably a lot of them for a long time. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in there. So I decided to test out a few because there's a few that uh, really intrigued me, especially for this game. One was the character movement. Also, I was looking at some different like particle and art assets, as well as a, I think it was called sensor toolkit. Um, and I looked into those in a separate project, obviously, because I don't want to mess with this one right now. And I was testing them out and seeing uh, how they were. And it looks like that the character movement one is a little bit more, I guess, heavy than I would like. Um, I really like the art assets and I'll see if I can adapt them to fit this game. And with the sensor toolkit, I didn't experiment a ton but it looks like it'll be interesting when it comes to the enemy AI. This is something I'm gonna definitely keep looking into. I wanna just make something that's, at least for the character movement, is something I'm looking at specifically because I am also wanna add the new um, character with the animation. So I wanna get something set for that because it's something I don't particularly like dealing with and I just kind of want to be um, more so done, but also in a way that's not, um, not ugly. <laughs> And unfortunately, a less visible thing this week, I spent time debugging and just sort of ironing out any any kinks of any code stuff, um, especially with the player combat, um, how there's issues where you could attack an enemy in front of you and attack the enemy like who's in the radius around you. Um, so I, I worked on fi fixing issues with that, as well as just cleaning up the code, especially since you know I want to add in other assets. I want to make sure what I have now is is pretty, at least <laughs> somewhat clean. Um, because when I go and add other stuff, it's just going to make it exponentially worse if I don't have it good right now. And I think it just, it's been good practice for me just to, to go back on my code and try to improve stuff. Um, because I am still kind of, I guess, in my old habits sometimes of, you know, for example, just, just making public variables instead of like serializing private variables, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> I might not know what I'm exactly talking about. Um, but, but I like just going back to my code, even if it's just a couple months ago, I, I still find improvements um, that I have to make. If you guys would like to know more about the game, you can head on over to the Discord. I am more than happy to talk with any of you guys about the game, about, well, really, really anything. So thank you for watching. I love you forever, and I'm coming back next week.